Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm compiling uh, all the possible interview questions related to Salesforce CPQ. So let's go and get started. Uh, number one, what is CPQ product? Products are items that users can add to a code. So we can create product records manually or by performing a bulk upload of product data from an external source. <clears throat> number two, there are two types of fields at the product level, configuration type and configuration event. So uh, what is the purpose of these fields? So these fields determines when the sales rep can configure a bundle. So both the fields work in conjunction with each other and configuration event is the dependent field of configuration type. So uh, when the configuration type is allowed and configuration event is always configuration page immediately after the selection of product and allows uh, reps to reconfigure the product from the uh, code line editor. And uh, when it is allowed or edit, um, uh, it doesn't show the configuration page after the product selection, but allows wrap to reconfigure the product from the code line editor. And when the configuration type is disabled and the configuration event is not applicable, it uh, uh, never shows the configuration page after the production selection and neither uh, we can go and reconfigure the page from the product code line editor and when uh, the configuration type is allowed and configuration event is add so it shows configuration page only once so uh, what is a bundle a bundle is a group of products with the optional features or components that you want to include in a single code line a bundle product contains seven records types of bundles in salesforce cpq in cpq there are three basic types of bundles, static, configurable, and nested. Static bundles are predefined and cannot be modified. And uh, configurable bundles allow customers to choose from a set of predefined. Uh, nested bundles are a combination of static and configurable bundles where a static bundle is a parent bundle and configurable bundle is a child bundle. Uh, what are options in Salesforce CPQ? Option is a related object of a product through options, we link the product with the parent product. So basically, we create bundles through options. These products in the bundle contribute to bundle price and option doesn't contribute to the bundle price if you select its bundle checkbox. What is the purpose of type field in the option object? Uh, type field holds three values, component, accessories, and related products. So when the type is component, uh, so Salesforce CPQ multiplies this option quantity by the quantity of the bundle period. So basically, if the option quantity is two for uh, for that particular product, so if uh, if the customer chooses to buy a quantity as two as for the uh, parent products, so it will multiply it by two. So the option quantity will be four, and accessories. Uh, when the option depends on the parent, but the quantity is independent. So, so it will remain the same, even if, uh, even if the, you know, um, uh, customer is buying uh, four products, the accessory will remain the same. Uh, related product, the option is an independent product that can also be related to a bundle. Useful for cross-selling or upselling product option that user can add to the bundle while controlling the option quantity independently. Related product options cannot be required. What are the features in Salesforce CPQ? Features is a group of options. Through features, we organize the options. We can use the min options, max option fields to define selection restriction for objects in the same feature such as pick one or more, pick three or five like that. When can we display radio button in the feature level? If you choose maximum one option. What are option constant? We use constant to control how users select options together. We can uh, define training option to include or exclude other option. What are configuration attribute? Configuration attribute uh, is a field and a pick list shown above or below in the list of product option. This field targets all options containing the same field or applies to all the all those field value. For example, we can define attributes like color, size uh, for options. What is MDQ products? We can show a fixed uh, 
price uh, subscription product in the quote line editor as one quote line broken into segment each segment represents a unit of time like quarter month year or custom and has a pricing and quantity independent of the line of other segment it is useful if you want your sales reps to have detailed control over pricing uh, specific units of time within one subscription what is the purpose of bundle checkbox in the option object this this, this determines if the option price is included or excluded in the bundle product what is the purpose of option constraint the purpose of option constraint is to create a dependency between one or more options what is the custom action in salesforce cpq custom actions are buttons that salesforce reps can click to perform an action in the code line editor configurator or several other detailed pages what are product rules in salesforce cpq Product rules are designed to help sales reps to get the right products on the code. Types of product rules. <clears throat> there are four types of product rules available in Salesforce CPQ. Alert, validation, selection, and filter. Alert is basically shows a message to sales rep about a potential issue but allows them to ignore it. An example can be used to upsell the opportunity. Validation. Uh, shows a message to sales rep about a problem and they must need to fix it before they are allowed to save the configuration or code. Selection automatically adds, uh, removes or hide product during bundle configuration also automatically adds product to a code. Filter shows only specific products in a feature that uses the dynamic selection option. What all objects are involved when you build the product? Uh, product rule primary object uh, then error condition, action, lookup query, and configuration type. So error condition, uh, it controls when rule will fire. Action, it holds the instruction for how CPQ should make changes to the way a bundle is configured. They are mostly used for selection rules, uh, but have some small rules in filter rules too. Configuration rule, through configuration rule, we instruct CPQ that product rule applies to a specific configuration bundle there are two other objects that often contribute to how product rule behaves uh, like summary variable and configuration attribute what is guided selling process in salesforce cpq guided selling uh, features help sales reps in filtering the large product range by asking the relevant questions so guided selling prompts with the targeted questions for example um, <clears throat> sales rep can start with like what type of product are you looking for each answers can dynamically affect the next question and cpq reviews the answer and suggests the product list matching the rest objects involved in guiding selling like code process process input and process input condition code process this object defines how prompt appears and how it add items based on the user input Process input, this is the related object of the code process. It contains questions, possible answers that guided selling prompt shows. Each process input represents one question. And process input condition, this is the related object of the process input. In this object, we can define the condition so that the guided selling prompt shows. What are the price rules in Salesforce? Price rules are used to update pricing on the code line using complex logic and lookup queries. Technically, price rules are not just for prices. You can update any field uh, on quote lines. In, it, in other words, you can define like this. It is It automates price calculation and update quote line fields. This feature is useful if your business contains products that change in response to the uh, presence of other product. What you can do through price rules. Price rule inject a static value, field value, or summary variable into a code or code line field. Where you can evaluate price rule. Price rule can target the configurator or the code line editor's calculator. What price rule record contains? The price rule record contains price rules, price conditions, and price actions. What are the pricing method available in Salesforce CPQ? Salesforce CPQ includes pricing method like list, block, percent of total, cost plus markup. 
What is block pricing? It uses a flat price for a range of quantities instead of multiplying number of units. For example, uh, one to uh, one for one quantities one to five, you can keep price of ten dollar. For quantities five to ten, you can keep price of nine dollars like that. What is the percent of total price? So percent of total pricing uh, looks to the sum of other product prices and then takes a percent of total of that sum. For example, if sum of two product is 100 and the product which is based on POT, uh, so based on the percentage we have specified, suppose if it is 20%, then the price of the product will be $20. What is option pricing override? Option pricing override replaces the price of a product only when it is within a bundle. What is cost plus markup pricing? So cost plus markup pricing allows sales reps to add a value on top of the product's cost. What is contracted prices? Contracted pricing uh, sets a account specific prices for a individual products or categories of products. How many types of discount schedule we have? We have two types of discount schedules, slab and range. Where can we apply discount schedules? We can apply discount schedules on product, product options, features, and account. If you apply discount schedule at the feature level, what will happen? All the options inside the feature will get discount. What are the summary variables? We can summarize the product, product option, quote line, and do the operation like min max count and average and can be used in product rules and price rules what is cpq waterfall model salesforce cpq captures the seven price checkpoints for any product it is a sequencing way of calculating net price of a product based on the list price so it starts with the original price and original price is the uh, price from the price book so uh, and after that we have a list price so list price is basically a, a calculated price after price um, it could be price book um, book price or block price percent of total price or option price override and uh, after that we have special price so uh, special price is a cost plus markup price, contracted price or option discount and uh, followed by regular price. Uh, regular price is a uh, result of volume based discount and uh, customer price is a result of manually editable discounts and uh, partner price is a result of partner discounts set manually or through automation. And uh, then we have a net price result of distributor discount and set manually or through automation. Uh, in code template, how many objects are included? Uh, in code template, we have code template, section and content. What are the types of template content available in CPQ? So we have HTML, line items, custom, cust code terms, template bottom, code terms, template top. If you need to add company logo in the template, code template, what are the steps involved? We need to add the resource in the document object first and use the document ID in the template. How can we add watermark in the template? So first of all, we have to create a document record and get the document record ID. Find, uh, so that is as find the SFS ID opens a code template where you want to enable the watermark for the draft document and paste the SFDC ID into the watermark ID field. How can we add additional document to the template? So uh, we can add additional document and we need uh, the add, if we need to add the document in the document object, go to the template, code template in the related list. We have, uh, we, ha uh, we have additional document there. We have to create a record uh, with the ID. How can we create contract automatically and what are the prerequisites? We can create contract from the subscription based products. We create contract from the opportunity object through contracted checkbox field. 
so prerequisite opportunity stay should be close one prime and the coach uh, there should be primary code selected and subscription and it should be subscription based product if your court has four products out of which two are subscription based and two are standalone products what happens in the background if you create a contract for such code when you create a contract of such code in the background it creates subscription product and asset record what is amendment says for cpq amendments are a powerful tool that allows users to modify their customer current contracts with amendments we can make changes such as adding a new products adjusting asset or subscription quantities or terminating existing products what is renewable opportunity in salesforce cpq a renewable opportunity is an opportunity that represents the renewable sales of a subscription uh, two years from now it contains uh, all subscription items with quantities from the existing contract and is automatically updated with additional subscription product if an amendment opportunity is marked as contacted. What are twin fields in CPQ and when do we use it? Twin fields refer to certain pairs of CPQ objects that pass custom field values from the first object to the second object when the second object is created. For this transfer to occur, the custom field must be editable and have matching field types and have matching API names. How can we add or remove columns on the code line editor? These fields are controlled by line editor, uh, line editor field set available on the code line object. How can we add or remove fields on the information section on the line editor? These fields are controlled by field set available on the code object. How can we add or remove fields on the code line? These fields are controlled by standard line item drawer available on the code line object. What are the key features of CPQ advanced approval? Uh, CPQ offers smart approvals like uh, CPQ remembers the sequence if the approval is rejected at tier 2 when it resubmits for re approval then it will not go for approval at tier 1 it will directly goes to tier 2 for approval and through CPQ approval um, uh, we can view the level of approval required to obtain as they work on the codes. Uh, so there are no surprises uh, where and the approval is needed. Uh, replacing approval is easy in CPQ. If certain approval are not required, so removing can be done in easy steps. How can we deploy Salesforce CPQ changes? Deploy Salesforce CPQ changes from one org to another org are not straightforward as most of the configuration changes are in the form of records and also involves sequence of relationship right so deploy such changes with data loader will be time consuming and risk of errors are also involved firstly uh, to deploy cpq configuration changes we take help of specialized tools like gear set or podly to minimize the risk and time these tools determine the sequence and order in which the changes needs to be pushed from one org to another org. Secondly, to avoid duplicates, we use external ID and establish that by creating Salesforce ID from the source org like developer or through automation and utilize that external ID to move changes from one org to another org. So that's conclude on the Salesforce CPQ interview question. So please let me know if you want, if you have any question um, which you are not able to answer in, in your past interviews or if you want to uh, know any, if you have any uh, further question, uh, post me in the comments and I'll be including the answer of those questions in my uh, upcoming videos. So thank you and I'll connect with you in my next video. Thanks.